So congratulations on EPW champion. Thank you very much. Left your belt currently? It's, sitting on, my it's sitting on my mantle at home. You know, I don't take it everywhere. It's not, not something, you know, it's not something you whip out all the time. It's, it's not your phone, it's, it's not your wallet. You know, yeah. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like winning an Oscar. You put it that's up it. on your mantle. It. Yeah. It's for me, yeah. 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 So, okay, explain to me. A few months ago, David Storm in the middle of the ring in front of everyone, and we have it on camera as well publicly declared that you didn't have what it takes to be EPW champion. What did, did that hinder you? Did that get in your head or was that just motivation to move forward? It wasn't particularly that I walked in there knowing that I was going to win or that I was going to be EPW champion. Mm -hmm. But any man who is a man, um, you don't let people talk to you about that. You don't let people run you down. Um, you don't let people dictate to you what you can and can't do. Hmm. So it, it could be considered a driving factor um, because, yeah, again, him telling me what I can and can't do is, it's heavy, like he, he didn't just talk, talk about me, he talked about my team, he talked about my family, he talked about me as a man, and um, I wasn't gonna let him fly. He was pretty dickish. Yeah, he's a massive dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. extreme yeah. dick. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And um, and at the end of the day, overconfidence. Mm. Um, maybe, to be honest, what he said maybe was a lack of confidence in himself. He felt he had to pull me down to his level mm. so that he could overcome me. Uh, but it, it didn't work. Mm. As, as, like you said, there's footage of that too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you can go to um, From the Vault, On the Vault. I should know this by now. Yeah, yeah. it's called From the Vault, EPW From the Vault. on Vimeo. Yeah. There, yes. we yeah. there we go. I watch it all the time. <laughs> so, okay, at Reawakening 16, there was a child during the crowd, like in the crowd, who was screaming. And someone had to explain to me that that was your son. Yes. And he wasn't yes. screaming in fear or anything. He was screaming for Storm's head. Yes. So, yes. big fan, I'm guessing? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's funny because the first bunch of times I took him to any wrestling event, he was mortified mm -hmm. that I was getting beaten up. How old was he when you started taking him? Oh, uh, probably not even 18 months. When he did, at first it was just the noise. The noise, he was like, not yeah. cool. Like, I don't like all this noise. Get away from me. And then when he was around two, he sort of understood that daddy was wrestling. Mm. And uh, he didn't like it. He, he would scream, don't hurt my daddy. Um, and then um, he's a little bit older now. So he's, he's four. Um, and he gets that daddy's out there fighting. And I can take care of myself. And um, he, uh, yeah, he, I think he's my number one fan. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. probably one of my favorite moments is when you were all on the four turnbuckles and then he was just ultimate worrying. Yes, oh, going yeah. nuts. Um, it's funny though, because it was like there was no one there. Yeah. He was like, I'm in the ring, this is the greatest yeah. moment. Like, he's just running around. I'm always curious to ask wrestlers with kids mm -hmm. if one day they turn around and said, Dad, I want to be a pro wrestler. Mm -hmm. What would your reaction be? Depends on how old he was. Okay. Um, if he hadn't finished school, I'd be like, <laughs> you, you want to, yeah, yeah, finish school. <laughs> um, after he finished school and he's got an education, if if he feels like he still wants to do it, mm. I'm not going to stand in his way. Cool. If he wants to be a, um, uh, I don't know, if he wants to be a doctor, then they go that way. If he wants to be a boxer, I'd. Again, uh, maybe not, but if that's what he really wants to do, that's what he wants to do, if he wants to play football, you know, I can't, I can't stop him. Um, if he wants to be an actor, you know, it's, it's like anything, you can't, if I told him he couldn't, and if he's anything like me, he would do it anyway. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, as long as I can get him to have something else mm. in life as well, he yeah. can do the wrestling, but get educated. Like yeah. I would say to any, anyone in the world who ever said anything about wrestling, I'm like, get educated, and then if you still want to do it, and you end up to the point where you can't wrestle anymore, you've got something else to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so the answer is, I would say, okay, but be careful. <laughs> that's, that's good advice. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you again. This is I'm massive, and I cannot wait to see what happens next. Oh, I, nice. um, it's... Yeah, that's, I was trying not to think about that, to be honest. Um, I've just had my head down and 
getting myself prepared for what's next, which is Chris Vice. I've got a little bit more time. Uh, Hot Summer's Night mm -hmm. is a um, contract signing yep. for the EBW Championship, which gives me a bit more time to get myself ready for it, prepare for a different opponent. Uh, yeah. David Storm is much of it, he's a dick. Um, he is crafty and conniving and in general will do whatever it takes to win. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Chris Vice is just brute force and scary brute force. Yeah. He's, yeah, he... Rest and, in peace, Julian Ward, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we all saw what happened to Julian Ward. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's we got a lot on my plate coming up. So I look forward to it, but uh, not in the same way you look forward to, you know, going on holidays or, yeah. you know, going out for dinner. I look forward to it in a, in a manner of testing myself yeah. to see um, what I can achieve. And as any wrestler would, they would see every match as an opportunity, as a test to see what what they can actually do. It's a good way to look at it. Mm. Well, good luck. And Thank you very much. And I think you'll be fine with your son on your side. Yes. You can take yeah, well, I mean, if I can't do it, that's great. My, my boy will kick his butt for sure. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Chris Vice. Watch it. It's my boy.